and welcome to a brief tutorial about evaluating web resources. When starting the research process, most of us love to use Google to search our topic. A web search can provide us with background information, breaking news, opinion pieces, and many, many more sources to help us understand the topic and develop a research strategy. But with billions of websites at our fingertips, how can we best determine the credibility of our sources and decide if a website is worthy of being used and cited in our research? Here in the library, we like to use what we call the ABC test. Each letter of the ABC test stands for a different factor in evaluating websites. The A stands for authority, B stands for bias, and C stands for currency. With these factors in mind, let's search Google and use our ABC test to find a credible website. Let's say that I'm interested in learning more about WikiLeaks. I want to know more about what it is and how it works, as well as any issues related to it. Since I'm just getting started in my research, I'm only going to search WikiLeaks. I see several websites that look relevant as I scroll down. Here is an article asking about the trustworthiness of Julian Assange in WikiLeaks. Let's check it out and discuss the ABC test further. A stands for authority, but how do we determine authority? I like to remind myself that the answer to that question is in the word itself. When thinking about authority, think of the author. We want to determine the author of the source as they are responsible for the credibility of their content. Keep in mind that the author may be an individual or even a corporation. Sometimes the author is easy to determine, like on this website, where I can see the journalist's name in the byline. You may need to look for links on the website like About Us or Contact to find this information. It can also be helpful to scroll to the bottom of the website and find copyright information. Let's find out more about the author and see if we can find out more about their authority. At the top, we see their name. At the bottom, in a mini biography, we see that they are a documentary filmmaker. In the article itself, we discover that they actually made a documentary about WikiLeaks back in 2013. Sometimes you may want to find a little more information about an author. If we Google Alex Gibney, we see a variety of sources about him. Simply from the results page, we can see that he's an experienced documentary filmmaker who specializes in more hot button issues. I now need to decide if there is bias in this website. This can be a difficult process. I try to look at the language that our author uses or research more about the publication to see if they have an agenda. But I want to keep in mind that bias is often likely, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I can't use a source. I can always counteract the bias with additional sources that show different viewpoints or seem more neutral. After a quick read through, it looks like my author has some bias against WikiLeaks, but when you are dealing with hot button current issues, there generally will be some level of bias. In reading the article, I find that it contains factual information about the information released by WikiLeaks, so I feel comfortable that bias is not a disqualifying issue here. Lastly, I need to determine currency. Currency simply refers to how recent this information is. I'm going to look for a date or maybe again at the copyright information to determine when this website or article was published. If you can't find a date, you can also look for social media accounts linked on a page and see how recently they were updated. Keep in mind that currency is relative to your topic. There might not be breaking news about a historical topic, but you always want to strive for up-to-date information. My article is from August 2016, and this is current enough for this particular research. So, to reiterate, when evaluating websites, use the ABC test. Look for authority, bias, and currency.